Bernie Sanders delivered an address on the Bernie Sanders page on YouTube, and it tells you things that have been accomplished that were that you may not have noticed were accomplished very recently in the House and the Senate. Things that got done, Johnson. And since I reported the other day that there are a lot of people very down, very frustrated, very uh, depressed. We have people giving up, literally giving up, Johnson, giving up on America, giving up on politics, giving up on life. They're tuning in the channels and shows. Everybody's just playing along to the choir. They're preaching to the choir. They're not converting anybody. They're just talking about the problems. They have no solutions. It's just pain, anger, pain, anger, 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 frustration. And it's all collapsing in on itself. And people are struggling with this. And this is what the reality is. So I'm very happy to bring to you a clip from the Bernie Sanders uh, official YouTube channel where he highlights where Bernie Sanders, Senator from Vermont, highlights some things that you need to be aware of that may help you in this most this must this most pressuring time that we live in right now, guys. Check this out. Let's get to it. Everybody out there for their support and involvement in the progressive movement. And because of your support, the US Senate, just the other day, after a very, very long night, I didn't go to sleep for about 30 hours passed the most comprehensive pro-worker piece of legislation in the modern history of our country. You helped make that happen, and I thank you. And I want to just talk for a moment about some of what is in that bill. This is Now, before, before Bernie gets off into this, I want to highlight the fact that Bernie Sanders said he was up for 30 hours. There are people that criticize Bernie Sanders and say he's done nothing for America, that he's a sheepdog, that he's no good, that he doesn't, you know, why do we have him? And the only time they've ever stayed up for 30 hours when they were on a coke binge. That's it. Never stayed up 30 hours to help anybody ever do anything except them get laid or score or do more cocaine. So let's just keep it 100 here. Ah, there you go. See, reality strikes. Have to keep two things in your head at one time. Now, Bernie Sanders is going to talk about the most progressive legislation that's seen America, that's, that's hit America in the last couple of decades. Let's hear him talk about that. Everybody out there for their support and involvement in the progressive movement. And because of your support, the U.S. Senate, just the other day, after a very, very long night, I didn't go to sleep for about 30 hours, passed the most comprehensive pro-worker piece of legislation in the modern history of our country. You helped make that happen, and I thank you. And I want to just talk for a moment about some of what is in that bill. This is just some. Number one, all of us know that we have to crush this pandemic, which has killed over 500,000 Americans and made many, many millions of people sick. We're putting substantial sums of money to make sure that we're going to be producing all of the vaccines that we need and that we're going to get those vaccines into people's arms. In the last month, the Biden administration has done a good job in significantly improving the distribution of vaccines around the country, but much more has to be done. And this legislation provides the funds to do that, in addition to providing funds to hospitals to help deal with the COVID crisis. Above and beyond the pandemic, what this legislation does is understand that tens of millions of families in this country today are struggling economically. Some of them don't have enough food to feed their kids. They're worried about being evicted from their homes or their uh, apartments, uh, they may not have enough money to go to a doctor. What this legislation does is on top of the $600 per person that we passed last month, it will provide $1,400 for every working class adult and child in this country. Single people, 75,000 or under are eligible, a couple, $150,000 uh, or under are eligible. That means a family of four, husband, wife, two kids, a check for 5600 bucks, And that could mean the difference between despair and dignity. 
So that's a big deal, and I'm proud that we were able to get that in. This bill, in the midst of very high unemployment rates, will extend unemployment until the end of September. Now, I wanted 400 bucks supplement on top of normal unemployment. That went down to 300 But what we did get in return, if you like, is a $10,000 exemption, tax exemption, uh, for people who received unemployment last year. So unemployment is taxable. I don't think that's a great idea, but we got an exemption for the first $10,000. Uh, this legislation uh, will uh, make sure that there is a significant amount of money to help people uh, pay their rent after the rent moratorium ends and prevent uh, people who have mortgages from being thrown out of their homes as well. In the richest country in the history of the world, uh, people should not be going hungry. This legislation puts billions of dollars to make sure that nobody in America goes hungry. In the richest country in the history of the world, uh, people should not be going hungry. This legislation puts a amount of money to help people uh, pay their rent after the rent moratorium ends and prevent uh, people who have mortgages from being thrown out of their homes as well. In the richest country in the history of the world, uh, people should not be going hungry. This legislation puts billions of dollars to make sure that nobody in America goes hungry. Um, this legislation also does something that is really long, long overdue. Uh, as many of you know, we have one of the highest rates of childhood poverty of any major country on earth. Uh, especially high in African-American and Latino communities. This legislation expands the child tax credit so that we are going to be able to cut childhood poverty by as much as 50 percent. That is enormously uh, important. I mean, do we have to speak on that real quick, guys, that the, uh, this is like a major deal Major, major deal. Now, I know we do a lot of complaining. We should do a lot of complaining because a lot is, is a lot to complain about, and we should continue to make noise about the things that aren't right. But we also have to acknowledge what we're doing so we know. Because, see, my purpose of this is not to rub this in anyone's face, you know what I'm saying, but to but keep people fighting the fight. And for people to fight the fight, sometimes they need to know that there's been some movement. So let's keep going. Not, not me cherry-picking swords now but movement in a positive direction. I'm not changing the narrative. This is facts. Let's keep going. Um, this legislation and something that I worked on very hard will also double funding for community health centers all across this country. In my own state of Vermont, about 25% of our people get their health care, their dental care, uh, their low-cost prescription drugs, mental health counseling through what are called federally qualified community health centers. We more than double funding so the community health centers can expand, improve their services to low and moderate income people all across uh, America. And this bill does something else that we worked on, and that is at a time when so many kids have seen their education disrupted, we have more than tripled funding for summer programs uh, and for after school programs. That means this summer, uh, kids will be able to get the opportunity not only to engage in recreation, have a good time, but to get the mentoring uh, and academic work they need to kind of make up for what they lost during the academic year. And that is just some. We, we dealt with pensions in a very big way. Millions of workers uh, were uh, on track to see their pensions that they had been promised cut by up to 50 percent. We dealt with that issue, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So is this legislation perfect? No. Uh, and one area, obviously, which is where it's really deficient, something I've worked on, is raising the federal minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. Uh, now, this is an issue I've worked on for years, uh, and uh, we only got 42 votes the other day. But this, I promise you, we're going to win this fight. The American people understand that seven and a quarter federal minimum wage is a starvation wage. They understand that it's crazy that the Congress has not raised the minimum wage since 2007, uh, state after state after state that has been able to vote 
on raising the minimum wage, has done so, almost always voted to raise the minimum wage. We're going to do it. And we're just working on a strategy now uh, to make that happen. So uh, once again, let me end by the same way I began. Uh, none of this would have happened without your support. Uh, and we did this, by the way, with a 50-50 U.S. Senate. Uh, so we accomplished this because of the support of the American people. And what is very, very radical about this is not just all of the provisions in it, is that for once, the United States Congress was listening to the pain, the anxiety of ordinary Americans, and not listening to the lobbyists representing large corporations and the billionaire class. So thank you again for your support. Let's go forward together. Everybody out there. All right, give it up, give it up for that, give it up for that, Johnsons. Give it up for that. And, and, and like I said, guys, now this is, like I don't want to blow smoke up anybody's ass. It's not my thing, not into it. Plus, you're too smart for that. You can speed right through it, right? You, you know what people are BSing you, right? When people are just trying to line their pockets, right? You do, when people are just trying to fool you, pull the rug over your head. Okay, so let's imagine most of us are aware of that. I'm not trying to do that. What I'm trying to do is keep my people motivated because when all we do is focus on the negativity, what's going to keep people doing the fights? What's going to keep them in the fight? Because, I, I mean, it gets frustrating. I know I get frustrated sometimes. I want to binge watch and forget about it, take a couple days off. But I have a responsibility to my viewership. I got a responsibility to you. I got a responsibility for my family. I got a responsibility to the vision of what I'm trying to build here. And we got to keep going. So everything can't be willpower. Sometimes you need a little pick-me-up. And that's what Bernie Sanders is. And I just want to end this Bernie Sanders uh, appreciation video by saying, with all the garbage that people talk about Bernie Sanders, with all the criticism that he gets, who else is doing it at this level? Who else is representing at this level? And those people that you think are doing it well are also looking at Bernie Sanders. They're part of the reason why they're able to do so well is because Bernie Sanders existed. If it wasn't for Bernie Sanders bringing up the progressive movement, introducing words like socialism, democratic socialism, do you really think there would even be a conversation around that? Medicare for all, who do you think was been pushing that for the last four or five years? Beyond that, but who's the one to took all the slings and arrows to make these things a reality, to make these, to make these things discussed in pleasant company, in mixed company, in, in barbershops, in hair, hair salons, well, before the pandemic and before the baldness. But you understand what I'm saying. Like these things, these things that we care about that we're fighting for. I say give it up for Bernie Sanders for keeping up the fight, for keeping the pressure on. Give it up for all the progressive organizations, all of the grassroots efforts, all of the activism. Give it up for those people, man. People's names who I may not know, but without them, this is not possible. Give it up for the people that pushed to get the $10,000 exemption for people with unemployment. In 2019, that's a big deal. It may not seem like a big deal, but it's a big deal. If you took unemployment in the 2019 and you're looking at it, now you have to pay that back. Or should I should say 2020. 2020. Okay, um, rent moratorium, uh, the money to allocated in the budget for rent so that when the moratorium ends, people don't get kicked out of their homes. Poverty child tax credit, um, community health centers. Double funding for low moderate income. These are places people go to get health care. I don't know if you, you know, I don't know who's done this lately, but if if you needed to go to the doctor and you can't afford to go, maybe it's maybe a community health center in your local area might be an alternative. Summer programs for the kids, mentoring, plus so they can have a good time, pensions, and then he admits that the minimum wage battle. We didn't win that battle, but we're going to keep fighting that battle. So give it up for that, guys. And, I, I'm, and, and once again, for everyone who's involved, everyone who's done their part, everyone who's, who's amplified these messages, thank you. Keep doing it. We got to keep, keep going. It ain't over. I'm not saying the fight's over. I'm not claiming victory, but what I'm saying is job well done, battle well fought, let's keep fighting. 
And with that, guys, speaking of fighting, guys, my next segment, I'm going to talk about Donald Trump because people, Donald Trump is waging his own war. Now, it's not a war on poverty, a war on uh, um, insurrectionists, <laughs> a white supremacy. Of course not. Of course not. Those are his friends. <laughs> of course not. A war on fake news, kind of. But no, it's a war on the Republican Party. That's our next segment, guys. Stay tuned for that. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Don't be fooled by corporate media talking heads misleading the people. Get your news and information from an entity that keeps it real. Tim Black. Tim Black is the host of The Tim Black Show. Independent news that leaves you informed, inspired, and sometimes entertained, but always in the know. Go to TimBlackTV.com and sign up today. The Tim Black Show is news for people who can't stand the news. See you there.